Today we're going to find out the results of my no dig potato experiment. This does not feel like no digging. <laughs> Just my excitement of jackpot of potatoes as well, Ella. And so, they... Earlier this year, I planted potatoes along this fence line and that back fence line. So I laid down cardboard and rabbit manure and I put potatoes on it and then I covered them with straw and I just kept layering up the straw as the potato plants grew. Well, as time went on, grass crept in and m grew over the straw. So today I'm gonna be trying harvesting these potatoes if we have any. One issue that I ran into is it's really hard to pull the grass. Did a bit of a test dig and I don't know if I'm gonna get anything more than the potatoes that I put down there. We'll find out. Oh my gosh, was I not recording that whole time? Ah, it's driving me crazy, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is take my weed eater and just like lay all this grass down. I'd have to go pretty low before I actually worried about hitting any potatoes. So I came in here with a weed eater and kind of leveled it out the other day as best I could, but it's still really hard to dig through. So I've invited a friend, Tara, to come help me, and hopefully she'll be here soon. She's supposed to be here at seven. It's already 7.15. That's not too unusual for her, though. Is that a giant pumpkin? Yes, it is. Your butternut squash look like they're doing really great. It all looks so good. Oh, wow. Oh, man, this is just ridiculous. This is why we're switching the black fabric in the whole garden. <laughs> Otherwise our whole garden would look like this. Oh. Yeah, what's that you have here? Look at this. It just like it keeps coming and, and coming that and coming. Crab grass stuff. It's, it's miserable. Awful. It's miserable. This this is what the Bible okay, talks so about every time. Here's here's probably where a potato was. So Ooh. let me get down here. You're about to have jackpot. Feel it. <laughs> about to? It's, oh, and look, here's another stump. So here's where it was. Just dig. That's I'm, all. I'm trying, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Just dig. I don't think well, I sang enough way. and talked enough to the potatoes. I think they're hidden and shy. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, here we go. I see one. Yes. All right, here's one. Oh, it's big. It's your whole palm. Look at that. So this is probably the one I planted because it had that growing out of it. Oh, so no. So did it put off roots? Oh, no. Did it grow any others? <laughs> oh, so we got one. So the traditional method for growing potatoes is to dig a trench, put your seed potatoes in it, cover it up, and then as the plants grow up, you just pile more dirt up and around it. I tried that once. <laughs> in this garden. Not only did I not get very many potatoes, the ones I got were very tiny, but I also got a great surprise. So after my visit from Mr. Vole or Mole, I'm not sure what exactly it was, I decided that the trench digging method probably wasn't the way for me because not only did he give me a heart attack, um, but also it was like his own personal buffet. So almost every potato I pulled up had a little few bites out of it. It just, it was not productive at all. So I've heard about this no dig method, which is where you use wood chips, leaf mulch, straw, something, and you put the potatoes on top of the ground and the potatoes actually grow in that. And then when the end of the season comes, you just pull it back. So in theory, this should have been a much easier harvest for me this year. Wow, you pull and pull and it's like it's not going anywhere. Right? Oh, 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 wait, 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 don't move, don't move. Did you find a potato? I found a potato. Yes! You are kidding <laughs> me! I don't know if you can zoom in enough to see this, everybody, but that is a potato. Look at this! Look! Woo! Woo! Tara, you know me probably pretty well. And you probably know me in a different way than my viewers who just know me 
from gardening and farming. Yeah. So how would you describe me to someone who didn't know me? Hey guys, so the Lorella you see on all of these videos, that, that is really Lorella. The smile that she has, that kindness that you hear in her voice in all of the videos, that's her. That's really her. She is really passionate about this place. And when everything grows and develops, that is sincere Lorella whenever you see that. But what you may not know is that's, that's a push and a stretch for her. This kind of public expression, that's not every day. This sweet woman would be very, very content to be alone and quiet. That is what's restful to her, to get a chance to separate from everything. But you know what she does a lot of the time? Is she draws out plans, and she's really organized, and she's really methodical. So all of this incredible garden, drawn and measured and planned out just right so everything can fit and be beautiful. She's really creative too. So all this cool stuff you see in these videos, really her. But what I like a lot, I think it's actually really cute, she thinks out loud. She thinks out loud with what she's gonna do next. But it's, it's helpful when you're working together because then you can meet expectations. And if you're not quite sure, she handles questions really good. She'll respond to everything really calm and patient. She's really, what would I say? I would say learned. Lorella is really bright, really smart, really knows a lot about a lot of things. She's really going to be um, current and relevant with news and what's happening. And then you can ask her something and you shouldn't be surprised because she's that incredible, but she's gonna have an answer to it. She's gonna know what you need to know. And so it's a wealth of knowledge that I really appreciate. But then she's also really down to earth. So if you're somebody like me that just wants to smile and laugh all the time, she's gonna be really right there with you. And talk about laughing. This lady makes me laugh. Laugh like a dry humor. Sometimes you have to stop and catch yourself and look at her and be like, ah, she gotcha. I mean, she's a good one. She is a good one. Patient, graceful. I don't know if I've met someone more thoughtful than Lorella is. I don't know if it's because of all the different varied experiences she's had to get to this point in life, but she is incredibly thoughtful of the other person, what they're feeling, what they might be going through, how it, how it affects their life. She's a good one, and I am, am much richer to have her. I am so pleasantly impressed that each time whenever you sweep through, they are just like, resting on the dirt they're just like right there yeah so if we can find a way find. to control the grass this, this really might be a viable awesome method. method yeah <laughs> that sounded almost like we planned it <laughs> did you hear that <laughs> no, no well, i didn't think i should have jinxed you or something you know oh, what yeah. is it it's like a little um what's the little guy from frozen it is like a little olaf it's an olaf but here you hold it up and show it look at that but we don't want to build a snowman. We want potatoes. We still have all the way to there on that side. And on this side, we have all the way to about there. Well, the potatoes I planted have definitely grown. Even if they didn't reproduce a whole lot more, they're definitely bigger than what I started with. But you want to today, turn it into competition? Yeah. Just have fun. I really do love gardening and working on the farm. And if you are new to my channel, you might not know, I haven't been doing this very long. Like six years. I didn't even start till I was in my 40s. So it is never too late to live your dream. And that's something that I'm super passionate about. It's probably something that you're going to hear me say, over and over as you watch my channel, but I really believe it. So if you've got a dream that you've been wanting to try, if there's something at the back of your head that you've always wanted to do, and you just, you know, the time's not right, the fun's not right or whatever, take the first step. You'll never get anywhere if you don't try or start. 
All right, Tara's here. She's my gopher girl. She's so good about doing, just like going, I got it, I got it. And I'm really good about going, okay, I'll let you get it. Yeah. I want to take a sip, but it's hot. I think since I, on Monday, we were putting all of our potatoes in one basket. Um, but you want to today, turn it into competition? Yeah. No, really, what were you going to say? I'm That's what I was going to say. Oh! Well, let me speed up then. You say challenge. All right, I think we should also have a contest for the smallest potato and the biggest potato. Oh, I'm gonna, I need to make sure my one little bitty guy made it in there then, because I had one that was like, oh my goodness. Oh, hey, worm. Hi, thank you for making my soil better. Quick count and I'll do a quick count. There are three, three components to this competition. I'm ready to win. Total number. Okay. Largest potato. Okay. Smallest potato. Okay. All right. So and what's it. your total number? Sixty-four and one part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have thirty-eight. Nice. But out of my thirty-eight. All of these have been eaten off of. Oh. So, like, I found... I've got two buffets. So, I wonder if the critter uh, has a preference for these yellow potatoes or if it's just convenience. This was near home and it was like, I'm going to the store around the corner <laughs> instead of the one. I found several of these in a pile of eggshells. Ooh, so, eggs and breakfast. potatoes. <laughs> full on country breakfast. All right, so you win for a number. Okay, do you want to go biggest or smallest to start with? I think, I think I've think i got my littlest guy that is going to win them all. Okay, I don't think so. I think this is the one, out of all three components of this competition, this is the one leg of the race I'm going to win. <laughs> this oh. is like like decathlon, but okay. no, triathlon. Swim, swim, That's right. What is it? Swim, Street bike, swim, run. bike, run. Bike, swim, run. I don't know swim, what order it goes. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going to go and reveal. Okay. I feel that One, confident. One, two, three. Uh, oh, she did beat me. There we go. There they All are. Right. I got smallest. Yeah. All right. So we're tied. We're neck and neck That's now. Right. This is the deciding factor oh. for the win. Bring out the biggest guy you've got. I think I'm going to get this booster here. All right. All right. If they're shaped weird, we might have to go by weight. Oh, whammy! Here, put it on your other. I'm out. You that's, that's. I don't know. I think they're they're pretty close. They're a different shape. Mm. What do you think? This one feels heavier to me. Honestly, this one feels heavier to me. Yeah. I think I won. I think you did. In the crowd. Wait oh, it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Two slow claps for Lorella. Wait, you got to. <laughs> You're ready. Two slow claps for Lorella. Well done, you. <laughs> Is that weird to say to yourself? Well done, me. I, I think I have several thoughts. First of all, I think this might be more potatoes than I started with. Since I planted whole potatoes, it's really hard to know which ones I started with. Except I'm pretty sure these little guys were new. Overall, I'm... I'm at least glad that I got back what I started with <laughs> because I honestly thought it was going to be all rotten because yeah. you saw how soppy that straw yeah, was under wet. there today. So next year I might try doing some kind of container method for potatoes. Oh, less like competition, that. less weed competition. Yeah. Maybe some of these lick tubs or something, but I need to do some more research. So if any of you have done that before, um, be sure and let me know. Uh, what method you like what worked so this potato harvest was not exactly what I had hoped for but if you want to see a harvest that was insane click on that box right now and you can see my zucchini harvest where my zucchinis are like the size of my forearm and see nine different ways that I preserve use cook zucchinis and beets and I think I also talk about kale a little bit in that video have a great week and I'll talk to you guys later